Austin here from Double the Tech. Recently, I blamed my roommate for getting me into emulating PlayStation 1 games on my Orange Pi. Since I've been playing the PS1 games on my Orange Pi, well, I've been borrowing my roommate's iBuffalo SNES controller, which connects directly to the Orange Pi with a USB connector. Instead of playing with the SNES controller on the Orange Pi, I wanted to see if I could get my original PS1 controllers with the old school PS1 connector and my PS2 controller working on my Orange Pi. Looking at Amazon, there were several different types of adapters available. Most people in a lot of the comments I found ended up explaining that these blue adapters, there's plenty of different knockoffs are the ones that tend to work the best with Raspberry Pis, but I'm gaming with the Orange Pi. So I ordered this one. Uh, any of these blue knockoff ones will probably work. Here's the HDE adapter itself that I just got shipped from Amazon. Comes in a little plastic bag with a driver CD. So here I have my Orange Pi, which I have the Orange Pi 2. There's also the Orange Pi PC and Orange Pi 1 which also have versions of Retro Orange Pi, which I believe this app adapter should also work just fine for. Basically, any of the H3-based Orange Pi boards, this adapter should work. Minus the H3 Lite, which I believe Retro Orange Pi does not have an image for yet as of version 3.0. So I've gone ahead and plugged in the HDE PlayStation controller adapter into the Orange Pi, but I have not plugged any controllers into the HDE adapter yet and the orange pie is powered off at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now. Alright, so here we are at first boot after plugging in the HDE adapter. Still no PlayStation controllers connected to it and it, as expected, says that two game pads were detected. Uh, this is normal because there's two game controllers through this adapter and the adapters will always appear to the PC or the gaming system that plug, you plug it into regardless of if any controllers are actually plugged into the adapter itself. So I'm going to start with my PS1 controller and program and map out the keys and see how that goes. Important thing to note with these HDE blue colored adapters the port on the right side is player number one and the port on the left side is player number two. That's with the cord coming out the top. And from what I've seen others advise online, before you set up any buttons on the PS1 controller, go ahead and turn on the analog controllers on the PS1 controller. So I'm going to go ahead and press a button to get into the configuration mode and run through the mapping. So up, down, left, right, start, select. So this is where it gets weird with PlayStation controllers and I'm gonna press circle for A, X for B, square for Y, and triangle for X. A, B, X, Y. And then left bottom, right bottom, left top, right top. Left thumb down, right thumb down, left analog up, down, left, right, right analog up, down, left, right. Once you get all that done, to confirm you're going to press the circle, which is A in all of the RetroPie menus. And just like that, we're in. And we're able to boot into a PlayStation game here. And remember, as you're going through the RetroPie menus, the circle is the A or the select option, and X will be the back option. Start and select work as expected. So the arrow keys are working just fine. X jumps as expected. Triangle, I can look around. So now that we have everything mapped out and working, everything except for the analog stick let's get that working in ps1 games so the d-pad is working fine the analog is not even though the analog option is turned on to fix that press select triangle to get into the retro arc menu if you have a pop-up or a search just press the x button again select quick menu hit the circle button to open that up scroll down to controls circle button 
and I want to change the device type to retropad with analog and change the analog to digital type left analog. And you can do that for all of your other controllers, but this is a single player game. I'll switch over the player two just in case, because I'm at actually not sure which plug is player one and player two to be any, to be honest. Uh, I can plug it in left or right and it seems to work, so I'll set one and two the same way right now. Hit X twice to go back, and then you can exit the retro arc menu by hitting select and triangle again. Get out of this. And you'll see now that the analog stick is working at the same time as the D-pad. I can turn off analog if I wish. D-pad still works. Turn on analog. Works fine at the same time as having the D-pad buttons. Thanks for watching.